Tonight is just to enjoy those stories and see how we connect with this universal idea of transitioning into adulthood. Tonight's event is really an opportunity for some of the best storytellers and musicians in the city to talk about their experiences in their 20s. One of the stories that helped me the most with my tr transition to adulthood, I learned when I was about five years old. And the things that they struggled with, the challenges they had, that really show common cause with a lot of young people who've been in foster care. So this is a healing song. I have lupus and this song came to me one night. What we know is that we all go through tough periods in our 20s. So really we wanted to show through story, through song, through all kind of arts-based um, opportunities, a ways to tell those stories more effectively. I'm going to share um, a little journal entry uh, that I wrote in high school. What it meant for me to be rising up from a low-income immigrant background. I uh, lived in a lot of different homes, bouncing from this home to that home, living with foster parents. I was in with group homes. You have no family. You have no support. And I'm the love that my parents never knew, and I'm the love that my parents didn't receive. And it wears me out all this crazy love inside of me you're pulling me hopelessly no and i never want to get free fostering change is all about helping us create opportunities for young people to have the kind of life that launches them into an adulthood where they're going to be able to um, have strong relationships, have consistent financial support as they enter into those important early years of their 20s and that they have a chance to connect and contribute to their local communities. Who, When they're 19 and in foster care in British Columbia, they have to walk away from a lot of supports that we all depend on. These are my shoes from 1975. I was 17 years old when I bought them, absolutely against my parents' wishes, but uh, I felt that if I had a pair of these, all would be well. Fostering Change and Write the Future is a really beautiful example of what happens when we take the time to hear from the voices and the wisdom of young people with lived experience. And if anyone wanted to have the kinds of thoughts that I was having, they would have to be a monster. Um, our campaign has been completely built around the voices of young people. I am continually honored and um, so privileged to work alongside some really amazing young people that make our work so rewarding and inspiring. And these days, I just walk around so appreciative of who I am and the path my life, my life has taken. Together.